think this is a really authentic restaurant and people who work here really love it and they put everything they have into it and I think that that comes out in the food as well as the service and I think that you know we're really genuine in, in trying to tell our story to people and I feel like that resonates. I think the most important thing about this restaurant is um, this restaurant, this environment, when you're in the door, our service staff, our food, it works very well right here. I don't know if you would, if you could take this same thing and move it to a different location in the city and have it be the same. Um, it's just something with the neighborhood that we're in. We spent a lot of time making sure that we have clean food, light food, um, really elegant, nice food, and kind of take away the the stuffiness of a formal, um, like, fine dining experience. Once you start getting ingredients that are, like, processed or not necessarily fresh, you have to add fat to them. You have to uh, manipulate them in such a way. And one thing that Ari does really beautifully with this food is very little manipulation. It's just very, the things we do, just technique driven, and we have great product to use, so, you know, you don't need a lot of other stuff, so that's why it's important. LA is very much a food desert. Um, I, you can go stand in the middle of downtown LA and you'd be very hard pressed to find quality produce there. And it's worrisome because that that's really speaks to access, you know, and that speaks to who's having access to healthy food. Um, and it shouldn't just be a class thing. Ari that um, in order to open the restaurant we would start a community outreach program that teaches um, inner city youth how to cook and uh, learn about health and food related things, gardening, food, health. I worked at an after school program in the Tenderloin in San Francisco which is considered to be a food desert and I started observing um, what the students had access to um, and the lack of access in terms of healthy food and healthy recipes and I got deeply interested in um, how we can provide healthier options and more affordable options to youth who don't and families who don't have access to that. I think um, it's really important uh, for all youth um, to have a connection um, with what they're eating and what they're putting into their bodies, but especially in this area in Los Angeles where it's a food desert, I think it's so beautiful for students to have a direct connection and relationship with, um, with gardening and then with cooking as well. We'll go into the school and at the end of the day, the girls don't necessarily have the access to the food. That's why everyone has diabetes. You know, if, you're, if your access is a liquor store and getting flaming Hot Cheetos and a, and a soda, you know, all you're putting in your body is sugar and salt. And the, the human body is not designed to work that way. When you start to eat processed food, uh, the body doesn't understand what you're putting into it and there's no way for you to stop or understand how much you've had or what's good for you or what's what's proper and so um, whole ingredients are recognizable, they make you feel better and um, they're, they're more delicious. You know, be it urban or you know rural agricultural area, healthy food is important and having access to it because at the end of the day your body is all you have. 